So, um, in your opinion, how much is uh, movie animation changed uh, since you started working in Pixar in 1994, and not just in terms of uh, technological progress, but also in terms of storytelling? Yeah, it, animation since 1995, when Toy Story came out, it's it's changed so much. I mean, and you're right; it's not just the technology. Obviously, the technology has improved, so you could do so much more, and we can get so many looks. And there's so many, not just at Pixar, but so many other studios. But I think what's changed the most is just the style of storytelling. Um, you know, for so long, people thought animation just as kids' movies, and we never thought that. We always wanted to make movies that kids would love but that they were made by adults and kind of for adults and I, I believe that the audience is slowly but surely responding to that and so there's a level of sophistication in films from around the world that are uh, animated that people respect and don't just put it at the little kids table so to speak and I believe that's how it's changed the most. Uh, Forky is one of the new character, yeah. but he isn't a proper toy, he isn't made, and he thinks it's garbage. Um, this is a big change for the saga. So how did you get the idea? Of <laughs> he, he was with Forky, yeah, he is a big change, and we got the idea thinking about what kind of other toys are there, right? We just thought, uh, we always want to try to honor the truth of being a toy, and one thing that made us laugh was just this idea of a handmade, like a little, our, my kids are always making little things and they love them. They make little characters and we thought, well, that would be funny. That could be a funny threat to Woody or to the world because this, this little toy um, doesn't know the rules of Toy Story. And that just, you know, he doesn't know to lie down when the parents come into the room and so forth. Um, and that just felt like a worthy thing to chase down and it made us it made us laugh just that kids can make something and call it a toy and love it and that's what makes it a toy he doesn't have to know that he's from the trash so he just is kind of programmed to go and do what he's supposed to do but her love supersedes that so Woody's job becomes about you know protecting him and instead Boo he's a completely different character uh, from the one we used to know yes. so um, how did you work on her evolution and what, what inspired this evolution? Yeah, Bo Peep, she has, she has evolved, you're right, and, that is, um, and that, that's a good way to say it. We worked on it, we thought about her in terms of um, she was out of the room, right? She was actually, what happened to her is what they've always tried to avoid. B she was a lost toy. And so we never explained it. And we thought, well, one, that's a, that's a good dramatic opportunity for us to show and explain what happened. And then two, more importantly, how it affected her. You know, what happened to her out there and how did that make her change? And I think it, what it, it did, um, it, to make a long story short, it made her the first realist of Toy Story. Like she understands the world. She knows how to navigate outside of a bedroom and she knows what it's like to not have a kid. Woody's been lucky and blessed. He's always had a kid. She hasn't. So she kind of comes back in with a lot of knowledge and street smarts and sophistication. And she kind of she kind of brings it back to, to Woody. And do you have a toy that you saved from your childhood, the one you can leave behind? Yeah, I've got so many toys. I mean, if you came to Pixar, you'd just see toys everywhere of all, all of us. But my favorite toys, and I've now given them to my son, are my little Star Wars toys. I had the little action figures, and I saved them all from when I was a kid. And, uh, and so now they're, and I took care of them, and now they're in my son's room on the floor still and uh, all over the place, and he loves them. So it's kind of, I felt like I've honored Toy Story in a way by passing those on. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Everything's gonna be okay. Nobody knows what I mean.